And that was just lovely. And now we have an experimental novelist, uh, Jeff <coughs> Bursary, uh, will read, accompanied by the wonderful and multi-talented Madame de Dois and her dancing digits. Please welcome them both, particularly Madame de Dois. This is from Unidentified Man at Left of Photo. Some time ago, let's all blame the 60s, a new element was added to this quasi-journalism that might as well be glossed as a spiritual reawakening. Aided by mescaline or marijuana or other M things, men reacted to Mother Nature and sought solace <coughs> or saw salvation in the skewed fissure of a glacier, the upswept fog fudging the peaks of Fujiyama, a sunrise on a dewy lagoon dank with the scent of extraordinary tender flower petals, or the metal blue of the North Atlantic as its waves batter a rustic shoreline, occasionally selecting another too near the water sightseer <coughs> to eventually bloat amongst frolicking seals and orcas, flotsam, jetsam and effluvia, diesel oil and fishing nets. This, the second way, is a newfound spirituality that, when combined with Hemingway's pathetic legacy, results in a punk kind of nature writing best termed macho Buddhism. I'm out of here.